Hello all Supernatural fans. Today update on Francis. Um, as I mentioned in just my last video I did on Bobby Chevelle, this is now I guess my second official video. So last week I did a video on this car on the inside and I just called the video Little Things. It's the Little Things. Uh, and there was things that we had to go back and fix and replace because when you put old items into a like a brand new interior, things start not looking so well. And the stuff on the original car, like Hero, they, they use obviously the best stuff they have for Hero, but it is not good, okay guys? So, but also with that being said, Hero does not have like the interior like this. I mean, this thing is pretty much next to immaculate. So for being a a TV show car. So we're going to talk about some things that I went over uh, last week in my little video I did. Uh, what I did, I donated my door lock knobs here uh, to Kevin for Francis. Uh, these were off my first ever Impala that I bought. And they were in really good shape and I'm like, oh, I'm going to keep those. And I did. And I thought about using them on my car, but uh, I think it's worthy for me to give them over here. So I just donated them. Um, new handles. So I'm going to come down here. And I hope this camera stays focused and everything. So we put a new vent and main window crank in. These are all nice new chrome. So, and then the, obviously the little knobs have been painted. Um, the buckskin because that's what it is on Hero 1. As we come inside... We're going to see we have a, the rear view mirror there. All brand new. The visor brackets. I hope you guys can see this. It is all brand new chrome. Everything is super tight the way it should be. And then one of the big things in is, let me see, can you guys see that? That is the uh, roll control switch. Now, Kevin's going to find out this through this video, but on the original car, it sits like that. We're going to mount it back this way so it doesn't get accidentally hit. And I'm going to give you guys all a little secret on the roll control. On the original Hero car, Hero 1, this is the way it is. It was down like this. And they had problems hitting it all the time. And I guess Jensen really complained about it. So they've taken it off. And they had a custom-made switch down in here into the turn signal. And there's a button over here inside this. And so that's how they control the roll control now. So the next time, if you guys ever see Hero 1 up close and personal, it's going to be missing this. But we don't have access to how they did this, um, at least not yet. So anyway, floor mats are in. Those are the correct floor mats. Everything is just coming so good on this car. The little, little, little coming back out here to explain some stuff. Um, the cow seal's been put in. The new roll control, which is there, has been put in. You're going to notice that the valve covers are off, and you can see the, the rocker arms and um, the springs and everything. The reason for that, this thing was leaking oil really bad. And this thing, originally, we had put these... Uh, Valve cover gaskets that were like rubber, and they just were not sealing. So we've taken them off, and all new ones have ordered. They were supposed to be in this morning, and they haven't shown up yet. But we're putting all new, because we don't want this thing leaking, you know. I mean, when I give this thing back to Kevin, obviously he just didn't spend all this money to have stuff go leaking and stuff, so we're fixing it. The hood installation kit is on. Now, this is a little, another little bit of trivia for you guys. Only Hero 1 has the hood installation. So, it has been put on, and so she's just exactly like Hero 1. Uh, the other thing has been done, oh, yeah, 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 from our, my last video when it was on um, the hood lip. Brand new hood lip has been put on, and then the antenna has been put on. And then let's come out to the back of the car. Let's see here. We've got brand new lenses in. 
So those are all nice. The originals were cracked and actually busted up. So new lenses in. So Francis has come a little bit of a long way uh, just since we pulled her up here. Now she's really dirty. Um, and we're not worrying about the dirt right now, guys, uh, because before Kevin takes possession of this, this thing will be spit, shine, and polished. But right now, we're going to work out all the little bugs. Next week, I will finish out the weapons box, and then I've got to get the devil's trap painted in it. So, like I said, this car is not done, not done. And that's how come she's not looking all purty and shiny black, but um, there's reasons for that right now. So we're just putting in everything together. We want to make sure everything works. Like I said, I do not want to turn a car over to you. Not just Kevin, but anybody. Uh, so anybody that knows, because we've talked, all these people here with these cars out here, these cars, when you get them, they're not going to leak. They're not going to squeak. They're not going to rattle. That's why I keep them a little longer, just to make sure we have all that worked out. Now, I'm not saying something's not going to, in the future, not going to, you know, have a problem with a rattle or a squeak or something but when you get this thing from me she's going to be good she's going to be golden so that's where we stand on francis and then for my last video i asked why is this car named francis and nobody has gotten it so i guess this dumb old country boy is a lot smarter than a lot of other people out there so i'm going to give the answer Francis is the name of baby in Dirty Dancing. And I think Dirty Dancing has been referenced in Supernatural because even Dean said nobody puts baby in a corner. So the car is named Francis, and that was baby's name in Dirty Dancing. Now, isn't that clever? So Francis is looking really, really good. Like I said, we're hoping to have this thing all buttoned up, ready to go. Um, obviously we wanted to test out the roll control where the front brakes lock up and we could do a burnout and stuff, but we were doing the pumping on the brakes and stuff and this roll control was not leaking. And just so everybody is aware, let me come in, come in here and I'm going to show you this. There's a seal right down in here and that's where it was leaking. It was not leaking at the fittings, it's leaking down here. This is the third one that we've put on. But right now it seems to, to be working. So I don't know if we just had a bad batch. I, I, honestly, guys, I don't know. But um, I can't wait to take you guys a ride in this car. She sounds so sweet. Um, she really wants to get up and go. And, you know, with that 355 gear and the pause track and the shift kit and the transmission, she's a runner, I, I promise you. So anyway... Hopefully next week we'll be able to maybe go on a test drive in it. We'll, we'll find out, see how everything goes. So with that being said, I'm going to sign off on Francis, and I've got to do some other videos on some other people's cars So, because I'm sure people are wondering about their cars. So until then, talk to you later. Bye.